I am Shar, and welcome to readings. We're going to do Virgo. But before we do, a little bit about Virgo that you might not know. Virgo possesses great organizational skills. They are perfectionists, and this is true. Well, the Virgo I've met anyway, like, everything in its place and a place for everything. Um, most compatible with Scorpio Cancer and Taurus. Now, Virgo, you, also, you often clash with Libra and Leo. We're going to go to the Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. We're going to do your read. See if we can pick up on that Virgo energy. Bring spirit into the room. Okay. <laughs> Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Virgo. Let's go. Well, you know what? Um, what is that? That is the... And that's the bath start up. All right, new subscribers, page of swords is what I like to call the bath start a deceptive messenger. And messenger, you never know what they got to say to you. They can come up the street smiling uh, when they get to your face, right up to you. Uh, the smile could disappear. Or they could look miserable and then smile when they get to you. So very deceptive messenger, never quite know exactly what the message is. Now this could also be someone that can talk riddles, play games. Now the bastard was in the reverse, but it doesn't matter with this messenger. Upside down, right side up, inside out, doesn't matter. The bastard is still the bastard. So we have a... <laughs> We have a deceptive messenger coming towards you. Now, this could be somebody who says one thing, but they don't quite clarify exactly what the hell they're saying. Much like my readings sometimes. And with the moon following, <laughs> everything seems foggy now. All right, so a messenger coming, Virgo. The messenger came to see me. And now I, I just can't even see past this message I got. I have no idea what what they came for. I have no idea what the message was. Let's see if we can find out. Spirit. This is someone that's coming to tell you something about somebody. This is somebody who is probably a friend of somebody or a child of somebody, or a family member of somebody, but whoever this messenger is that leaves you confused is sure enough going to tell you something. And that something is, there's a little secret that you probably don't know is that with the Nine of Cups in the reverse and somebody who refused your cup, I'm going to have to say that the messenger is telling you that someone's not doing too well. Since somebody left, the Nine of Cups are reversed. Oh, wish fulfillment. It appears that money is slim, that business is not good, that maybe they haven't been going to work, that I don't know. But they refused your cup. And since then, things have not been good. Not been good at all. Ooh, spirit, let's bring it in. Let's talk to Virgo today. This is some kind of... Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I don't wish this kind of stuff on anybody. But you know what? If somebody comes into your life and, and they treat you like crap and, and they get a little bit of taste back, then yay. That's all I can say. But when I got justice in the divine here... That's a big freaking yay. This is somebody, oh Virgo, 
with justice and the divine coming out here. Now this could be somebody who could be a, a cop or a fireman or an, a forest ranger or somebody that wears a uniform. Could be a bus driver. Could be anyone in uniform. Could be a security guard somewhere, a prison guard. Could be someone that works for, I don't know, parole or something like that, but they wear a uniform. And a uniform could also mean shirt and tie, a suit. But it's usually some kind of a, a government thing. But what I got is someone's being slapped with a little bit of karma. They refused your cup. I don't quite know what happened there, but it's in the past. Let's try to read the future. They refused your cup and it just looks like the karma stepped in and man, oh man, it, karma's a bitch, man. Karma's a bitch. You gotta be careful how you play with the sword because you just might turn it on yourself. And that appears to be what's going on with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. That somebody might have treated you pretty friggin' rotten. And, uh, well, they're getting a taste of what it's like. Well, you know what? Here comes the passion. Well, you know, I, I hurt Virgo and I left Virgo and I left them in a bad way. I might have ghosted them. I didn't give them any closure. You know, my life's been crap ever since. I, I think I'll go and see Virgo. I, I'm thinking about it anyway. So here comes this passion. But this passion, this is probably a young person or younger than you. But the thing is, is that there is no celebration with this passion. So what is this? Why is the Three of Cups in the reverse with this passion? Well, we're going to need more cards, but there's two options. One, they're in a bad, bad place and they want you to get them out. Or two, they come to you with passion and talking passionately. And you're shutting it down and saying, no, I'm, I'm not going to let this happen. I'm not going to celebrate this. But let's find out. Let's get some more cards out. Here we go. Here they come. Here they come. Judgment coming in. Here it comes. Ten wands on the back. Virgo, this is a cross watcher's read. This is somebody like ten wands on the back. My God. Ah, I like to call that ten hammers coming down. And when I see justice and the hierophant mixed together, that's different. definitely, definitely ten hammers coming down. I mean, this is somebody, their nine of cups is reversed. This is somebody that there's no celebration where they are. But they're headed right for you. Ace of Cups reverse. No thanks. My cup does not run over with you anymore. This has been very, very painful to you. And it's been very, very painful to them after the fact. Well, they're certainly getting some real bad karma. I don't know what happened here. But when this kind of karma hits... I can only imagine. I can only imagine what has happened. But with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, this cup is not running over. Nope. This is unstable. This is juggling. This is I don't like it. And this is leaving again. This is Virgo saying no. No, I'm not, I'm not going for this. See, number one, what I'm feeling here is that they're sending out a scout first with the Bastardo coming here. But the Bastardo speaks in riddles, so you're not quite sure what's happening, but you're trying to put it together yourself. Why are they sending a scout? Why are they sending someone before them to clear the way, to check, check you out, 
see if there might be a chance. This leaves you confused and dazed and with the moon card, it's like, I can't see clearly about what the hell happened. What did this messenger want? Why did they come? I haven't heard from them in a year. Why did this messenger suddenly come? And who sent them? The Nine of Cups in the reverse with the one who refused your cup. You know who sent them. So there's someone here, Virgo, that's got some real nasty karma. Obviously the sword has turned on them and they're now being chased by their own sword, by their own karma. And I really do see with no celebration, the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the walking away. The person's very, very, well, I mean, everything is out of whack here. There, there's a thought sort of juggling and what do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? And, and, and obviously being turned away, but by with the sun coming out in the reverse, I mean, holy jeez, there's no health, no healing, no well-being here. There's, there's no chance of this starting up again. This is done. There's no celebration here. It's over. It's done. It's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. So, Virgo, today, you have a cross watcher's reading. They're not doing very, very well at all. No. Not by these cards. Not doing well at all, and not by what Spirit is saying. Let's find out who's here. We have a Leo. We have Cancer. There's Taurus. Pisces is here. There's a Libra. And another Virgo. Now before you go, let's pull an Oracle card for you, an Angel Answers Oracle card. These are by Darlene Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Let's pull one of these for you and see what spirit will pick. Spirit for Virgo. Well, prepare yourself, darling. They're coming. Obviously, you're pretty much fed up with the whole thing. Obviously, you're pretty much done. Let's give him a cut. And we have be assertive. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean aggressive, Virgo. Be assertive. And then being assertive, what is going to happen? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. And uh, ain't no sunshine here. So, um, this is what I'm seeing. But let's go to the little book. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find Be Assertive. It's on page 21. Page 21. 201 is 3. 21. Be Assertive. This situation calls for you to take matters into your own hands. Yeah. <laughs> I can see you going to do that. You must get clear on your personal feelings and then pursue the fulfillment of your desires with courage and with confidence. Ask for what you need without watering down your request in order to satisfy others. Remember that seeing to your own needs is nothing to apologize for. Set boundaries with those around you in order to create a safe and a fair environment. Tailor your actions so that you earn the respect from others you deserve and then move forward. Now, while I was reading that, Spirit spoke. And there's a possibility there may be a child or children involved here. And setting boundaries to protect others yourself and others that could be this person came back and that maybe it might not be good for the kids or but thank you spirit for the reading thank you virgo for joining me today if you like the way i read 
please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.